Lisa Rogers with Mass Solutions. And one thing that I've noticed after being inside and out of school for a while, I need some practice with my math facts. But I like to have fun when I do my practice, so I thought I'd share one of my favorite stories with you. I'm wondering how many of my friends know the story about five little monkeys jumping on the bed. It's one of my favorites too. So I thought what we could do is to have a little bit of fun. But one thing I've always wondered, when one monkey falls off the bed, what happens to it? And I just figured it out. They have to go to time out. So we're gonna have some fun. And instead of looking at the book today, I thought maybe we could have some music to help us along. So feel free to sing along with us as we do some math practice. Ready? for today. And as I look at this, I'm really thinking about those little monkeys. So when we first started the song, we had five little monkeys. So we knew that there was a five, and I want to write an equation to go with that. So let's see. We had five on the bed and zero in time out. What number sentence will go with that? I agree. Five equals five plus zero. Let's do the next one together. We knew that there were five monkeys to start off with, so I'm going to go ahead and do this part of my equation. How would I write my numbers to go here? I agree we have four monkeys still jumping on the bed, but one in time out. So let's write our equation to be five equals four plus one. Can you guess what we're going to do next? Go ahead and figure out the equation. Did your equation look like mine? 5 equals 3 plus 2 because we had 3 monkeys still jumping on the bed and 2 in time out. The next one Remember, we had started off with five. What do we have now? Okay, two monkeys still jumping on the bed. And now how many are in timeout? Three monkeys. How about the next problem? Okay, so we had our five monkeys 
and we still have the one jumping on the bed. And how many are in timeout? Four. And then the very last verse, what happened to all the monkeys? That's right, they're all in timeout. So my number sentence is going to look like this. Zero monkeys jumping on the bed. And all five in timeout. That's my practice of basic facts for today, but now it's your turn. What happens if the monkey's three cousins come to spend the night with them? How many monkeys would we have all together then? We've got our five friends here, plus their three cousins. That equals eight. I wonder if you could sing the song to yourself and figure out all of the possible ways that our monkeys will be jumping on the bed, our spending time in time out chair. If you want a challenge, try any number that you want. What would happen if there were 17 monkeys? Or, oh my goodness, 20 monkeys. Have fun practicing your math facts, my friends. <laughs>